Hey, I am John Barker, and welcome to another episode of Here to Records Show and Tell. This is the show all about the gear that you're going to need for live streaming and events and all that good stuff. But today we're going to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to show you how to get three cameras into your Mac with a whole bunch of gear. I've got it all sitting on the table here. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how it all works together and how do you switch a multi-cam show on your Mac through Wirecast. Now you can use some different equipment here and there. You can use a different, uh, instead of Wirecast, you can use vMix or other softwares on a PC instead. And yeah, so I'm, I'm going for a very Mac focused uh, show today. Um, I'm looking at Thunderbolt uh, 2 connections and USB and HDMI, but whatever your system is, you can probably just tweak some of these things to fit your needs. So now let's talk about all the gear you're gonna need. This is a lot of the hardware you need, but aside from that, you'll need some cameras. Now I've got cameras here, I've got a GoPro over there, I've got the main camera you're looking at, and I've got an overhead camera as well. Um, those are all HDMI cameras, so I'll be plugging those into these devices on the table um, via HDMI, and then plugging those devices into the computer. Because that's the main thing you need to consider, is that you can't just plug the cameras into the computer via HDMI, you need some devices in the way. So. First of all, I'm going to use uh, two Ultra Studio Mini Recorders from Blackmagic Design. Now, these devices allow you to input SDI or HDMI and then send that out via Thunderbolt. Now, the reason I'm only using two of those devices instead of three devices is because my MacBook Pro only has two Thunderbolt ports. So I'm going to use two of these for the two Thunderbolt ports and then I'm going to use the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle and that will let me bring in via USB uh, 3 the, uh, the third camera. So other than that, I'm going to need uh, some Thunderbolt cables, so I've got those here. Two Thunderbolt cables for the mini recorders, and I'll need a HDMI cable for every camera. Uh, I've got one here for my GoPro, and I've got one for both of these cameras um, already connected. So let's just get this thing started. I'll take one of my mini recorders and one of my Thunderbolt cables, and um, I'll just bring this over and plug it into the computer. And I'll do the same for the other one at the same time. So what I find... Um, this might just be my preference, but I find these mini recorders to be the most stable recorders. So what I use those for are my two main sources. In this case, it'll be this camera and my overhead camera. So I'll plug my overhead camera and my main camera that you're looking through into those mini recorders. So here is the HDMI cable just dangling here from the camera overhead. And um, I'm just going to plug that into one of the mini recorders. And then here is the other HDMI cable coming from that camera that you're looking through right now. So I'll just plug that into the other mini recorder. And I have plugged those mini recorders into the computer uh, via the Thunderbolt connection. And then finally, the Intensity Shuttle. This is a big device. Um, you can watch my videos on the mini recorder and a video coming very soon on the Intensity Shuttle. So via USB, I'll just plug this into the USB port on the Intensity Shuttle. There we go other side into the computer and finally um, I'm going to plug in the uh, yeah the GoPro into the HDMI port on the intensity shuttle if I can find out what way it goes around yeah there we go so GoPro plugged in to the HDMI cable I'll just turn it on yeah, and then I'll plug it into the HDMI in on the Intensity Shuttle, and uh, you should see that there. There we go. Okay, so now, where are we? All three cameras are connected to the computer via different devices. Um, the GoPro is coming in via the Intensity Shuttle, and then the two main cameras are coming in through the mini recorders. Now, if we just pop over to the, uh, to the computer screen here, I'm just going to make sure everything's set up properly. So, in the desktop video utility. This is where you set up the settings for each of these devices. So there you can see the intensity shuttle and I can see that the video input is HDMI. That's working fine. The mini recorder. I can see here the video input is actually SDI. So I'll just change that to HDMI because I've plugged it in via HDMI. And the third one is already set up for HDMI. So I can close out of that. So something I always like to do is just double check that everything is working within Blackmagic's Media Express. Um, it's a really good way to see if all your connections are coming in properly. Now I've just made a slight tweak there and um, I've changed my overhead camera to be the intensity shuttle. So you can see that now. So my overhead camera is plugged in here to the intensity shuttle. And uh, if I look at one of the mini recorders, 
takes a few seconds, but there's the GoPro, hello GoPro, and uh, the final mini recorder is this main camera. So that's a good way just to make sure they're all coming in properly, and uh, I'll just close that out and open up a Wirecast uh, production that I had already made just to make sure this all works okay. So here we go, it's telling me that it doesn't find my intensity shuttle, but I'll just delete that. Jump into my source settings. And over here I can see that I have my three devices within the capture card settings, um, or the capture card area. Intensity shuttle is obviously the intensity shuttle, that is my overhead camera. The mini recorder is one of the two mini recorders, that one's connected to the main camera. And then XA10, I have just renamed one of the mini recorders before. Um, but this is also called Mini Recorder, which is plugged into the GoPro. Um, I think I can rename that here. Yeah, I can. Let me just type that back to Mini Recorder uh, GoPro. It's a good idea to name these, but the only thing is that you'll need to plug it into the same one every time you use it. That's why um, this time it said XA10 instead of saying GoPro. So now I have my three devices. I have my Intensity Shuttle, my two Mini Recorders. I'll just click Apply on that and close out my source settings and then in here I can just add the three shots so there's my main camera my overhead camera and finally my GoPro and really quickly I can just switch between the three send one to live another one to live and the third one to live and there you can see that they're all working uh, pretty well. So that's the pretty basic and simple way to get three cameras into your Mac in this case um, via some Blackmagic hardware devices and um, it works it works really well. Uh, like I said I changed the cameras around a little bit earlier because sometimes with certain HDMI cables it can be a bit flaky so that's why it's always good just to test stuff before you go out and do a job with it. But that's a simple way of getting three cameras into the computer. Now these devices themselves they all cost different amounts um, I'll let you just look below in the description and it'll take you to the Blackmagic site and you can see roughly what it'll cost and, and you can probably find them cheaper at a local supplier or, or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty basic setup, a way to get three cameras in. You could, uh, instead of connecting a camera to the, in the Intensity Shuttle, I often connect a presenter's laptop to the Shuttle instead and that'll bring in their presentation. So you just put this between the uh, presenter's laptop and the projector and there you go at a conference you've got two cameras and uh, presenter's laptop so you can see that uh, things can be changed around a little you can use these devices all together for a three camera setup two cameras and a laptop two laptops and so on so hopefully you find that useful and uh, thanks for watching this special episode of here to record show and tell uh, leave any comments below if you've got any questions or you're not sure about any of the devices just let me know and I'll, I'll get back to you thanks for watching Sweet.